What's good, ja A Zo back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there today. So I want to talk about how many people block their blessings without even knowing it. Now you ever heard the saying don't hate, appreciate? People don't listen to that saying at all. And that's how they block their blessings. They see other people with what they want, what they want to manifest, what they want in their life. And they choose to hate on that person for having it. They choose to hate on that person for getting it before them. And that's how they block their self from attracting it. I remember like growing up, Christmas time, my sisters, got cell phones before me because they a few years older than me and I used to be like I want a phone why do they get a phone because they older than me you know what I'm trying to say and I ended up getting a phone but it wasn't as good my phone was a flip phone they had the little slide up chocolate phone LG phone and basically bro all the all the time that I was saying like hating on them for having the phone way before me I ended up getting a way downgraded phone from what they had you know what i'm trying to say i got a hand me down from my parents and many people do this throughout their whole entire life they look at people on social media or in their life that got things they want maybe it's a car maybe it's a happy healthy relationship they look at them and rather talk down on them rather than appreciating appreciating the opportunity that you can have it as well when you, when, you, when you hate on other people for having what you don't have, a lot of money, followers, subscribers, whatever it may be, you basically saying to the universe, it's not enough for me. It's not enough for me. They got it all. It's not enough for me. And when you believe that and you feel that way, you're putting out that vibration, that's exactly what your experience is going to be. You're not going to never get to experience it. And by the way, what made me want to make this video? Because I always got to let y'all know what inspired the video that I'm making. I just seen this car. One of the cars that I'm going to for sure have in my future. It's an RS3. Seeing that junk, took a picture, a video, all that stuff. And I was just feeling good. I was, I was appreciating seeing the car. I wasn't hating on the dude for having it. I wasn't hating on the dude for having it at all. I was feeling good. I was feeling inspired. I was feeling motivated. For seeing the car, because this is exactly the one that, that I plan on, you know what I'm saying, driving one day. Gray, black wheels, yellow color. That joint was sweet, bro. And I got real motivated just seeing the car. But some people see things that they want to manifest or attract in their life, and they hate on that person. They bash that person. They shame that person. Just because they want it, and that person got it, but they don't have it yet. You know what I'm trying to say? Don't be that person. You're going to block your blessings. When you do that, you're basically saying, I'm not going to have it one day. So I got to bash this person because they have it. You're basically saying it's not enough for me. I won't ever experience it. So let me bash this person. You know what I'm trying to say? Don't be that person, bro. Don't be that person. Don't hate. Appreciate. If somebody is doing what you're doing, like for example, me on YouTube, People that have way more subscribers than me, way more viewers than me. Like at the beginning of my YouTube journey, bro, I used to be a little bit jealous. Like, bro, my content just as good as his. Why he got so many views, so many subscribers? I used to feel that way. I used to feel exactly like that way, bro. But over time, I just started to appreciate the viewers, the subscribers, the supporters that I do have. And I've been attracting more. And when I see other people that's farther along on a journey than me, I get inspired, I get motivated. I'm like, oh, he going hard, bro. I'm finna go hard as well. He going hard, that's why he got them subscribers, them viewers, he putting out good quality content. What do I gotta do? Do I gotta work harder? Do I gotta put out more quality content? I basically get inspired by people that's doing very well at what I'm doing. I get inspired by them people. Trent Shelton, Eric Thomas, people like that that's doing very well. I get inspired by them, bro. And I learn from them. Success leaves clues. So when you study like hating on other people, you can't even see the steps that they took. You can't even pick up the knowledge or the game from them. Because you're, so you're so busy hating on them. 
you can't even pick up the game from them. You know what I'm trying to say? So don't be a hater, man. Appreciate. It's a perfect time to learn to be grateful, to appreciate things, even if you don't have it, bro. Even if you want a happy relationship and you see a happy couple walking down the street, don't hate on them, bro. Appreciate it. Like, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. A happy relationship is possible. I'm seeing it right here. I can attract it myself. I can attract it myself. All right. It's the perfect time right now to practice gratitude. Y'all know Thanksgiving coming up, holiday season. You know what I'm saying? So just practice being grateful for whatever it is you have and whatever it is you want to attract or manifest. Practice being grateful for it now, bruh. Don't hate on other people. Show appreciation to God, to the universe, that the possibility is here for you to experience it as well. All right? Y'all enjoy y'all day out there. Like this video. Share this video with someone. Stop blocking your blessings. Don't hate. Appreciate. The possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if they look lost forever.